Emerging from the legacy of the Hawker Typhoon, the Hawker Tempest was Britain's adaptive response to the evolving challenges of 1940s aerial warfare. Its design was a testament to aerodynamic innovation. Propelled by formidable engines like the Napier Sabre II, and in later models the Bristol Centaurus, it was geared for air superiority. Equipped with four 20mm Hispano cannons, the Tempest was a formidable force in both air-to-air -air and ground confrontations. The Hawker Tempest's journey from drawing board to warbird is a chronicle of evolution and innovation. The Tempest's genesis was deeply rooted in the quest to overcome the Hawker Typhoon's limitations, which, although powerful, had certain aerodynamic issues and high-altitude performance limitations. One of the most striking advancements in the Tempest's design was its wing. The thin laminar flow wing was a marvel, designed to reduce drag and enhance speed, making the Tempest one of the fastest propeller-driven aircraft of its time. The Tempest's evolution can be traced through its various models. The Tempest Mark V was the initial production version powered by the Sabre II engine. Its armament included four 20mm Hispano cannons, and it bore a distinctive chin radiator. The Tempest Mark II had a radial engine. It was equipped with the Centaurus IV or V engine. It had a redesigned forward fuselage and made its maiden flight in June 1943. The Mark III was a less well-known variant. It was intended to use a Rolls-Royce Griffin engine. However, it did not progress beyond the experimental phase. The Mark IV was another planned variant with the Griffin engine, but like the Mark III, it was not pursued. The Tempest Mark VI used the Napier Sabre Mark V inline piston engine. September 1944 the Allies set forth with Operation Market Garden, a daring plan to seize key bridges in the Netherlands and pave a direct path into Germany. While airborne troops descended to secure these vital structures, the Tempest took to the skies. Primarily tasked with air superiority missions, they were pivotal in fending off any lurking Luftwaffe presence. Apart from offering a protective shield against Luftwaffe fighter bombers, Tempests engaged in strafing runs against German ground targets supplementing the ground attack prowess of their cousin, the Hawker Typhoon. Their presence not only provided an aerial vanguard for the ground forces, but also was instrumental in reconnaissance missions, gathering vital intelligence. However, the year's end brought forth a chilling surprise. In December 1944, the German forces mounted a significant counteroffensive in the Ardennes, sparking the Battle of the Bulge. Though the initial days saw limited air operations due to inclement weather, once the skies cleared, the Tempest emerged as a relentless force. From hunting down German armor to disrupting enemy supply lines with low-level strafing runs, the Tempests showcased their versatility. Their mastery and air superiority ensured the Luftwaffe remained a minimal threat to Allied ground advancements. Additionally, aerial reconnaissance missions by the Tempest pilots proved pivotal, offering the Allies much-needed intelligence to strategize and counteract. Hey there! I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching and supporting this channel. You're amazing. I'd like to introduce you to Super Thanks. Your Super Thanks donation not only helps me create more awesome content, but also gets highlighted in the comments section. Just click on the Thanks button below this video and leave a small tip in your local currency. Let's grow together and thank you for being a super supporter. Now back to the video. As 1944 unfolded, the British public faced a new menace from the skies. The V-1 flying bombs, early cruise missiles launched by the Germans with London as their primary target. Dubbed doodlebugs, or buzz bombs, due to their distinctive sound, these missiles were a challenge for traditional anti-aircraft guns and fighter aircraft. They flew at speeds and altitudes that made interception difficult. Enter the Hawker Tempest. Its combination of speed, agility, and firepower made it one of the few aircraft capable of catching and destroying these fast-flying threats. Engaging a V-1 was no simple task. These missiles were fast, cruising at about 400 miles per hour, and at relatively low altitudes. The Tempests, using their high speed, would approach the V-1s from behind. The standard method was to use their cannons to shoot them down. But due to the limited reaction time and the potential danger of the V-1's explosion, some pilots adopted a more audacious technique. They would fly their Tempest alongside the V-1 and, using their wingtip, tip the wing of the bomb, unbalancing it. The gyroscope inside the V-1 would be disrupted, sending the missile crashing to the ground. Though perilous, 
The Tempest pilot's bravery and innovative tactics during Operation Crossbow significantly reduced the V-1 threat, saving countless lives and showcasing the aircraft's unmatched versatility. Through diverse battlegrounds and intense wartime situations, the Hawker Tempest etched its legacy, symbolizing engineering prowess and unwavering determination. And the Tempest was finally retired in 1953. Several Hawker Tempests have been preserved and are on display in various museums around the world.